Hey guys! <laughs> I'm back. It's been a while since I filmed. The videos are probably going to be a little bit sporadic still um, over the next couple of weeks because I'm moving again, so <laughs> that's a thing. But because I'm moving, there will for sure be an updated shelf tour. I'm finally filming the video that I said I would film two weeks ago, which is setting up for new collections. So I have everything organized in here. It should be by like actual group and the member. So I have all of my collections already marked out. So I do have everything marked out. I have decided to add a couple more well I wouldn't even say a couple more well yeah probably two more collections since I made these but one of them is Ning Ning from Espa and they don't have any photo cards except merch photo cards right now so I don't need to set up for her I'm kind of just collecting whatever merch I can for Espa right now so I have her forever standy on the way which is truthfully what I wanted. Like pretty much if I collect an SM group right now, I'm also collecting their hollow standees and a few like other miscellaneous merch items because I love the hollow standees. It started with Ren June. I was like, maybe I'll get some selective non-album stuff for Ren June. So that's what I did. And then I also decided to do that with Yang Yang. And now I'm gonna do that with Ning Ning. So for the SM artists, I'm collecting very selective non-album things. It'll probably just be the standees, a few cash bees, and whatever else really cute merch SM releases because SM's merch, I can't do it, especially with the hollow cards. I love them. And I couldn't resist Yang Yang's Resonance Part 2 standee with the freaking, I couldn't resist it. It's so cute. But yes, that's the lowdown. I will also be adding Jamin to my NCT Dream collection, but we will also not be setting up for Jamin because my priority is Ren June, so I would like to get closer to completing Ren June's collection before I start Jamin. So I'm not really wanting to set up for Jamin yet. But yeah, we will start with, it looks like I have boy groups first in here. So I had thought I was going to set up or collect OT7 um, icon. That's not happening. So I'm going to remove all of these. I forgot these were even in here. <laughs> Completely forgot. Okay. Well, maybe I shouldn't need sleeves then. Let me remove all of these. Yeah, I was gonna collect OT7 Icon, and then I was gonna collect three members of Icon, and then I was only gonna collect two members, and now I'm only collecting June. So that's where we're at for Icon. Maybe if I finish my June collection a little bit more, like finish June, then I can start to collect Jin Wan, and then if I finish Jin Wan, I can collect Dong Hyuk, and then if I finish Dong Hyuk, you know, kind of move through the members like that. Maybe. Okay, well, Icon is actually the first group we're setting up for. So, for Icon, I want to... I don't know how many pages I even need for Icon. Let me pull out my little... Because I did create, like, an actual... I Okay, here's Icon. So, this was back when I was collecting Jay and Junhei but I'm just collecting June now. So, we'll see. We might have to fiddle around with it a bit. Let me just pull out all of these. Okay, so I'm gonna put them behind all of my NCT stuff. Johnny, I had like a brief second where I thought I wanted to sell my Johnny collection or like trade it for Jamin and Renjun, but I think I'll keep it a little bit longer. I think we'll keep it a little bit longer. I'm gonna put them behind Wyatt as well, actually. Okay, we'll put them here. So for Icon, let me grab everything for Icon. Sorry, I just heard my cat string something. So we have the half debut, half debut full debut. Okay, 
So we'll put their half debut album and their full debut album on the same page because <laughs> we'll do that. So I think we're gonna do half debut here, like a kinda T. Half debut, oh. full debut, and full debut. And I do have this full debut card on the way, actually. Okay, so that is half debut and full debut. Next page, or new kids begin, there's two cards. Return, there's three. New kids continue, there's two. And then new kids finale, wait. But then that would leave I Decide on a page by itself, but Icon should be having a comeback soon. Okay, we'll do it this way. <laughs> so on another page, cause the way I had it drawn up in there, um, it was set up for June and um, Jinwon, but that's not happening. So we'll put new kids begin here and then we'll put, so then we'll put return which I have his entire return set, I think, on the way in a trade. Okay, this is a selfie, or this is a concept card. This is a selfie card, and this is a concept card. If this was set up wrong, I will <laughs> change it. And then we'll put new kids continue. Oh, oh no, oh no. Down here. Oh, actually, you know what? This will make a page of six with these three. So we'll be fine. We'll be fine. So then we'll add in one, two, then the repackage, and then I decide down here. Okay, so that is how we're gonna set up my, is this out of focus? This is how we're setting up my June collection for now. Um, if it's out of order, I will change it. <laughs> it's so hard to see the writing because I wrote pink on pink sticky notes. I apologize for that. So now we're going to NCT section again, and I'm going to put dream behind wavy. So we will set up for Ren June. I won't set up for Jamin yet, but just know that I also am collecting Jamin, just a lot slower. Ren June is the priority. So let me get all of Ren June's things. We boom, we go up, the first, these are all of his hot sauce ones. Did I not make fillers for, confused, I'm missing 20, like the group, full group comebacks. Okay, well maybe I didn't make fillers for Resonance and Empathy. I might not have. That seems weird if I didn't, but I might not have. Okay, so we'll pull out Renju and let me find Renju. Renju, right here. Okay, I don't know if you can see. The lighting is so terrible. So on the first page, I'm kind of just filling it completely with from the first to reload. And then the next page will be hot sauce. And then afterwards, we're going to put empathy and resonance. Kind of like how I have Yang Yang and Johnny set up where I separate group comebacks from like MCT yearbook comebacks. That's what I'm going to call them, yearbook comebacks. 
So I'm just keeping the two separated because it's easier to, it's just easier to organize that way. Okay, so we start with the first for Ren June. So we're gonna put that here. So for the first, I do have Ren June's card on the way. We Young, I do not have. <laughs> and we go up right here. Which I also don't have that one. So then we will do We Boom. Which I do have one of his Wee Boom selfies. Um, Kino. I was like, where, where is the Kino? Oh, and also, I forgot to, like, also mention, I'm also separating Ren June's circle photo cards from his regular photo cards the same way I do with Yang Yang and Johnny. Just works better that way. So we will put away the riding rolling and Kino. So we'll have a full page of <laughs> Ren June and it'll actually work out nice because for the most part all of the eras get their own row aside from the first three mini albums but they only have one card so it's not a big deal. Setting up for hot sauce. So I do have my hot sauce albums on the way. They're just not here yet because I pre-ordered it with my Promise albums, but K-Town ran out of stock and then they weren't restocking and they weren't restocking. So then I got frustrated and I canceled that order and ordered hot sauce with Twice and just Promise 9 on their own so I could get my Promise albums. And then like a week passed and it had been like almost a month since the release of Hot Sauce. And I got an email from K-Town saying like, hey, we know you bought this. We, it's out of stock right now. We don't know when we're getting another shipment. And I was like peak devastation because I pre-ordered it. And I was like, no, no, this isn't fair. This isn't fair. <laughs> this isn't fair. How can this happen to me? Um, Seven Dream, and then the AR. And I was like, no, no, no. But it's okay, it worked out. I ended up, they're ready to ship now, so it's fine. <laughs> they're ready to ship, like, they were ready to ship on May 31st, which is like a long time, especially considering I pre-ordered. I pre-ordered them initially. So like a month later and they were finally ready to ship, but now they need, I need to wait till my Twice album ship and then they'll be on the way. <laughs> But I do have his, both his and Jamin's jewel cases on the way with both of their photo cards from the jewel cases. So I do have that. So all I need to worry about for Renjun is the, Renjun and Jamin are the actual photo book versions. I should have enough photo cards from the photo book versions to almost trade completely for Renjun and Jamin. So I'm hoping, but... I also hope that there's still people who need to trade by the time I got, get my albums. But I did notice that it wasn't just me who was delayed with getting their pre-orders. Like a lot of group orders also didn't get their shipments. So should be okay, I think. That is everything for in here. I am like, so desperate. So I do have this Yang Yang card on the way in a trade, but I am like, or is it this one? I have this one on the way. I have this one on the way in a trade, this one on the way in a Neokyo order, but this one is past Kino. I am like peak, peak desperation for that card. I am so desperate for it. If I can get his past Kino card, then everything will be completed except for the Kinos for kickback. That's it. And I'm like, ugh. I'm always so desperate to complete Yang Yang. And I don't know why, but I just like, I like being caught up on my Yang Yang collection. It's like the thing that makes me happiest is having this Yang Yang collection be complete. Okay, so that's everything 
for in the boy groups, we will get my girl groups. I forgot to mention Bam Bam solo album coming out. I do have both versions of a solo album pre-ordered. So I'm super excited <laughs> to get those. I don't think I'm gonna film a setting up for Pandora's box video because I don't know how big the actual photo cards are. Like in the preview pictures, they look like postcard size, but they were called photo cards. So I don't, I don't know. Okay, so we are setting up for Geo of Oh My Girl. Actually, this might shock you guys, but I'm gonna put Geo ahead of Charong, actually. So for Geo, I am just setting up right now for Dear Oh My Girl because Dear Oh My Girl on its own has so many photo cards, so that's all I'm setting up for right now. And then afterwards, as I begin to work through my Oh My Girl collection, I'll start setting up for other eras. But for now, we are just setting up for, <laughs> let me find my Geo setup. So this overall is going to be what my Geo pages look like, but we're just setting up here. <laughs> that's it. And over here. No, we're not setting up for the Polaroids. We're setting up this page. <laughs> we're setting up the pre-order page, not the Polaroids. Oh, I will put a page in for the Polaroids, but we're not setting up for it. So for Dun Dun Dance, we are putting these front and back. So we have OMG. Okay, I am 100. I thought I was missing some. I'm 100% missing things. For sure. Because there are 12 actual photo cards. How many do I have? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I'm missing some. Where are they? So I am missing some. I'm missing one of the stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. Never mind. I figured it out. I figured it out. No, I'm not missing any. Oh my god. Yeah, no. <laughs> I got so confused for a second there. I'm not actually missing any because I left. I remember. Now I remember. I didn't make a filler if I already had the card. So for Geo, I did pull some Geo in my actual albums. So I didn't make fillers for cards if I already had them. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. So we're gonna start with the selfies first, I think. So we're gonna do six on the front, six on the back. So we'll put OMG selfie two, OMG bear. Selfie one. And then I do have one of her selfies here. <laughs> and I have one of her OMG bear cards. So then this will be OMG Bear 2 and OMG Bear 3. So I do have these two cards. I have one of her selfie and one of her concept cards. Now I remember. And actually I'm like only missing two, two or three cards from Dun Dun Dance and then I just need first press Polaroids. So it's actually working really nicely. So then on the back, we're going to put her Dun Dun Bear version stuff. So we're going to put her selfie up here. And then I have one of her selfies, so then we'll put that here. And then we will put selfie three, concept card one, concept card two, and concept card three. Okay, so that's what it's gonna look like. <laughs> so for her OMG bear version, I have one, her selfie number three and her selfie and her concept number one. And then for her dun dun bear version, I have her selfie number two. And I guess I didn't make fillers for her pre-order stuff. So I'll just tell you what I'm doing for her pre-order stuff. So for pre-order, and I say this as they're still releasing so many things, so it doesn't really matter. For pre-order, I have both of her K-Towns on the way already. So both K-Town cards. I have both Soundwave cards. 
and I'm looking for her Apple Music. And that's what I all I had set up for in my book were just those five. But since then, they've released a, is it an MMT or a Mixstar? A Mixstar, I think, hollow pre-order card. So I do want that one. So we're planning on collecting six pre-order benefits for Geo for this era and probably only for this era. Moving forward, will we collect her pre-orders? I don't see myself going backwards for it, but we'll see. Okay, and then Soundwave. So the way I'm collecting this is I will put her Apple Music and her Make Star in the middle because those are the only two that don't have like more than one version. There's only one version of those pre-order benefits, so they will go here. And then I will put Soundwave up here and K-Town for you down here, I think. I think that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> so, Dun Dun Dance is all set up. Now we move on to Twice and we are gonna set up for Taste of Love, which I'm so excited about. They've released like all of the teaser things for Taste of Love, like the photo card teaser. Oh my God, and they're so pretty. So I have all three versions of Taste of Love on the way. And the nice thing about this era is there's only five individual photo cards. So I decided that just for Taste of Love, I'm going to collect Mina, Geo, and Chewy again, all three again. But if they ever go back to doing like 10 versions of the photo cards, which I assume they will, I will only be collecting Chewy still. I forgot about this page. I'm so satisfied, especially with this one. Love it. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna start with Taste of Love twice. So what I decided to do for Taste of Love is put five photo cards on the front and five on the back. And instead of doing like Mina's five and then Gio's five and then Chewie's five, that wasn't how I was gonna do it. But you know what, I think I might. So let me grab all of their cards. I don't know why Geo's were so out of order. Okay, so I'm gonna do Geo's five first because she is the oldest of the three members that I collect right now. So yeah, I like don't expect me to continue to collect my top three for twice. This is just a special exception I'm making because they don't have that many cards for this era. So then on the back, I'm going to put Nina. Um, Nina three, we'll go back here. Four and five. This also like makes it so I don't have to <laughs> make fillers, which is nice. Okay, Mina, and then I'll have to make fillers for Chewy's page. That's just how it's gonna go. I would mix, or I would put like their concepts on the same page, like their concept one card on the same page. And that's what I was planning on doing, but I saw the previews for the cards and Geo has one horizontal card and none of the other members have that. And I was like, okay, we're just gonna give you your own page. <laughs> so I will be making fillers for Chewy's section, just so we can fill out this page. But this is what Twi Taste of Love looks like. I'm really excited to get those albums. I'm really excited to get that order one because it has Taste of Love in it and I'm super excited for Taste of Love. But also because it has my hot sauce albums and I'm like so desperate for those at this point. So desperate. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's late. I know I said we would be setting up for new collections like two weeks ago and I'm just finally doing it now. But I hope you guys don't mind and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!